I didn't know anything about this dog. And so the only thing that I could do is present myself as somebody who is safe. Every day for the span of two weeks, I would walk in and I would sit down and I would feed him his breakfast, lunch, and dinner by hand. And that's just what we did. I felt the wound underneath his chin from the zip tie. I'm relieved that we caught him, but there's so much work that needs to be done. I got a call about a dog that had a zip tie around his muzzle. It's one of those calls that you are like, what? That moment I knew we have to just go. I knew that I needed to explore a different option. The next day, we came back out and they reset the traps. Pinkie Paw's search and rescue was the brains behind all of this. We watched him circle around this crate. He was really smart about it. He'd walk past the front of it and then come around the back. Every moment that he takes a step into the crate, like you just hold your breath. You just hope that he's going to take that one extra step. Yes, like it happened. We did it. It took me two weeks before I introduced him to the crew. There was a pivotal moment that happened. Did a little like mini nibble on a toy. He had zero interest in toys whatsoever. And I'm like, that was fun. That was a little playful size. The last human that touched him put a zip tie around his muzzle. Beckham's still learning how to be a dog. He has the perfect family to teach him how to do that. <laughs>